So you're interested in moving to Beecher, Illinois, or just learning to know more about the town? Well, we have the video for you. Wyatt and I are doing a complete video tour, a vlog as we call it, of the town of Beecher. We're starting here at the train station and we'll let you know why for a second because that has significant importance to Beecher's history. Uh, we're going to take a look, we're going to drive through Route 1, which is kind of where the, the main corridor of the town it has all like the grocery stores and things like that. Uh, behind us is the first area that built out in the town, the, the old downtown. It's kind of, there's kind of like a development has kind of shifted to the east from where the old downtown is. So we're going to take a look at the high school, the junior high, the elementary school, some of the main restaurants and stores in the area. And we're going to take a look at houses for sale too, just a handful of houses in those neighborhoods so you can get a taste for if you're looking to move to town, what kind of neighborhood are you looking for, what price ranges. Again, there's the features by itself is kind of an older town and the downtown built out first, but then later on different phases came and built like to the east and to the north. So by this video, you'll have a good handle of everything the town of Beecher has to offer and different housing stocks and what might be a taste in your taste for the home styles. I just want to take a second to introduce myself. My name is Tony Anzer. My wife and I are real estate agents serving the Chicagoland area and Beecher South Chicagoland and also Northwest Indiana. So we are licensed in both Northwest Indiana and Chicago, so Illinois and Indiana. Just love to help you guys on both sides of the border. And yeah, we do these videos to just educate our clients and our viewers about what it's like to live in the South Chicagoland, General Chicagoland and Northwest Indiana. So if you're looking to move in nine or 90 days, we'd love to hear from you. We'd love to help you out with your buying and selling journey. If you want to call, text, email, or book a, a Zoom meeting right on our schedule, you can go ahead and do that. The link's below in the description. All right, let's get started with our tour of Beecher, Illinois. So Beecher definitely is a rural community. Uh, that's the, what brings a lot of people down here. You have a lot of people getting out of the more dense Chicago suburbs and moving south and they want a little more real rural experience. Town of Beecher, somewhere around 5,000 people. It's not that big of a town. I actually grew up in Beecher from sixth grade on. So I hope to think I know a thing or two about the town. Uh, but we're here at the rail yard because this was the rail was a big part like most of rural towns. It was part of the big reason why the town started to develop. There was a guy named T.Y. or T.H. Miller, of which there is Miller Street that goes through town, where he was a founding father of Beecher. He was a big fan of this guy named Henry Ward Beecher and named the town after Henry Ward Beecher. So the uh, Miller was into, he had like raised cattle and when they heard the rail was coming down, bought a bunch more land and then so when the rail came, you know, the downtown area where we're standing started to develop with different industries. And then we're gonna take a stop over there for a second, but that's the grain elevator. So that was actually a big part of Beecher's history too. So anyway, I just wanna make the point here that in the old downtown, Beecher got started because of the railroad and that's what brought development down. And then it, again, the developments kind of over time moved to the east and to the north. All right, so we're gonna next stop over at the grain elevator and get a little more history of that. Okay, so now we're at the Beecher grain elevator and I am not a farmer at trade, so I, I won't know all the details and how this works, but so when it's harvest season, the you know farmers bring their wagons or semis, whatever they're bringing the grain in over and here they'll come in and weigh it. And then here's the booth for the, the offices and you go over there, they clean out the wagon, empty it so that it fills up those things. And then they, on their way out, you get weighed again. And then that's how much the product they know that you brought. And it's, you know, there's more to it than that, but that's the generalities of it. And it was just, I've, what I find interesting to bring us here is that, again, Beecher being a big ag community, is that in the harvest season, it's neat because you'll see some of our semis and wagons being pulled by tractors coming up and down the street a lot. And this is, you know, a center of commerce. And again, back in the day, uh, this was a big part of, of everyday life was the farming life. You know, you harvest your crops and you bring them here to, you know, basically get collected and so that you paid for them. So it's still in use here today. I'm sure it looks a lot different than it did back then. And it's just kind of neat to see here. All right, here I just want to pan around and again show the old downtown. So again, that's the grain elevator we were just at, the train yards right over there that we started at. And so I just wanted to pan, this is the other side of the tracks. And again, this is the old downtown. This is the area that developed first. So now there's a bunch of, a couple bars, couple stores, uh, that, that's a multi-family unit house there. And then the uh, Ambets Hall is right over here. And again, I just wanted to show where the old downtown started. And right here we are at the intersection of 
Penfield Street and Gould Street. All right, this shot today right here wasn't in my script for today, but I thought it was really cool. We're still in the downtown beach area, right? just I saw this and I had to point it out. Check out this store, they have these old school sewing machines, which is so fitting for the, you know, the era that the downtown was built. So just thought that was pretty cool, more in beacher history. All right, we're gonna do a quick drive tour here, just down the block. This is, we're in the old downtown. Again, the railroad tracks are right over there. So we're just gonna do a quick drive and you can see what the style and size of houses are for the old downtown. All right, a quick stop here at Lions Park. This is, uh, it's a kind of a smaller park, but what's nice about this for the town of Beecher is this is one of the main walking paths people will go to. So if you're just looking to get some exercise in or some steps, you got a kid learning how to ride their bike, you want a nice safe spot, safe spot for it, or if you're just looking to get your laps in for the day, uh, it's pretty cool too, because you got you know the path here. I'm not sure how many laps are a mile, but there is a playground over there. So it's a nice, you know, so if you want to get younger kids, and you're looking somewhere where they could play while you get some exercise in, that's a nice spot for it. We also got soccer set up here. Uh, one thing Wyatt and I like doing, what's up Wyatt? <laughs> There's actually down the railroad tracks, so the rail tracks are right here. There's actually about 100 meters down, there's a handful of railroad cars that looks like they were abandoned there. They're on a little spur, and so probably not supposed to, but you can go climb on them and whatnot. We have fun doing that. You don't realize how high a train is until you're standing on top of it. So again, this is Lions Park, and we're right next to the railroad tracks over here. Uh, we're right by the corner of uh, Gould Street. All right, in the background here is Fireman's Park, which is a staple location of the Village of Beecher. So this is where like all the Little League teams play. The darker colored building is the firehouse. The taller tan building over there is the community center. So they'll have like community plays and things like that. Uh, this whole area is where the 4th of July celebration sets up. And if you don't know Beecher, uh, you won't know that the 4th of July is a big deal. It's like, uh, it's our carnival for Beecher. And so that's where everything sets up. So this, this whole area will be carnival and rides and all that good stuff. So here, there's also a walking path here, as you can see, and some different play areas. There's actually a splash pad over there. Uh, one, two, three different ball fields. Uh, that build, there's a pavilion there. So during the 4th of July festivities, they'll have concerts and bands will play there. The community center, you can rent out for birthday parties and things like that. So, yeah, Fireman's Park. That's, you know, everybody knows where Fireman's Park is if you live in Beecher. Now we're doing a driving tour through Beecher on Route 1. So to my left is Hunter's Chase Subdivision. And so we're on the very north side of town. We'll just go through and I'll give a, a narration of uh, the, the different developments and things in Beecher here. So to the left, we're still looking at subdivisions. Uh, we're approaching Church Road. Uh, coming up to our left is going to be the Beecher Car Wash. To the right, we got the Dave's Pro Collision Center. That's been here like forever in town. We got after this in this little strip mall development, we have the gas station, which is that's been here forever too. There's a laundromat to the right, and it used to be the Tony's Pizza that moved a couple years ago. We'll drive past that. I usually actually used to work there when I was in uh, high school. So again, here is the car wash car wash approaching up here we're just passing church road right now this is the cvs pharmacy to the left here is beecher manor which is a nursing home they actually had some family that used to live there this next strip center here to the left is where the waltz grocery store is that's the biggest grocery store in the area we got the dunkin donuts that's the subway a first Community Bank. There's a workout place there, and that's where Tony's Pizza has relocated to also. Uh, this little plaza here, there's a Chinese food place. There's a Mexican food place. I think like a nail salon, some other things of that nature. Uh, to the left here is Midland States Bank. And then we also have a McDonald's, a Circle K. 
gas station. That's the newer gas station in town. It's pretty nice in there. And there's not a whole lot of fast food options in Beecher. So the McDonald's is a nice addition to have around. Uh, coming up here, uh, Miller Street is right here is the Casey's gas station. They've actually got really good pizza if you haven't eaten there. They got uh, sandwiches, so it's a lunch venue too. Dollar General. Uh, to the left is a medical center, so there's a doctor or nurse pr practitioner. Got the keto place to the right. A pin and tonic to the left here is the bowling alley. Uh, they got Nero's Pizza. I guess they got really good uh, breakfast there. That I heard. Buddies is if you know Beecher, you know Buddies. Buddies is the ice cream place. Uh, everybody seems to go there like after games and things of that sort. Here is the Beecher Funeral Home. Uh, we best pass the Cardinal Creek Golf Course over there. Uh, we'll come back and grab that one. But here to the right is the Princess Cafe. Uh, most another thing where a lot of people won't know Beecher until you say Princess Cafe and they'll be like, oh, is that where Princess Cafe is? And yeah, so they've got really good steaks. Their French onion soup is amazing. Uh, here to the right is the Do It Best. I think it used to be Ace Hardware. I feel like it's rebranded. So it's the hardware store. Uh, seems like businesses come and go out of that development. It used to be a coffee, like a coffee place. Here to the right is, I think it's called Chinga's, is a Mexican food place. And this place is pretty much always hopping. I have not eaten there yet. I've heard mixed reviews. I've heard some people really like the chips and salsa there. Uh, to the left is the Young Equipment. It's a, you know, Beecher is a farm community. So they got implements here. That's been a staple store of Beecher. And we're actually on the south limits of Beecher now. So we got a, uh, auto parts store and then this oh, we got the, the cemetery there and then this is pretty much the last the sonico protective solutions is a em local employer in the area all right so we're overlooking cardinal creek golf course here in Beecher, and this is uh, the main golf course in the area Wyatt and i went for the first time what a couple weeks ago yeah that was pretty fun so they do have a banquet facility here too so they can do like weddings and things like that uh they've got outdoor patio they got a kitchen there and so this is the we've got like i think three different sets of courses two two they got you starting one there there's another one over there you can start at. and then this is the clubhouse or they have you get large scale outings here so they can do you know a lot of a lot of business they can have large outings here See, this is the pro shop here <laughs> We're doing a neighborhood tour. <laughs> All right, behind us right now is the Beecher Elementary School. And so we're going to walk around here. We got a pretty cool park too. And again, when we come around, we'll capture that a little better. So here we go. All right, we're, we'll continue to go around the school, but I just want to point out here that now we get to the baseball field. So the elementary school baseball fields and the high school. So that's the high school back there in the background and we'll take a walk around there too. But they kind of share this area. Uh, high school usually goes over there for sports. Uh, the grade school is here. Uh, but again, I just wanted to point out that it is the same property here. All right, and also the school property abuts, there's Trim Creek right here, the little water waterway there, but it abuts what is called Fireman's Park. And we'll make a stop over there and show that off too. But there's another ball field over there. That's where the community baseball uh, games happen. They're actually going on right now. You can hear it and see it, there's a pavilion. This is where Fireman's Park is where the 4th of July festivities happen in Beecher. And Beecher, uh, for Fourth of July, is a big deal for Beecher. A lot of people come in. The fireworks show is pretty crazy good. And again, we'll just continue the rest of the school tour here. All right, in the background here is right there. I think I'm always pointing backwards with the imagery. There we go. That is the Beecher Community Library. So fitting location right across the street from the school. Because again, the school is right there. 
And then we're right across the street is the library. And again, Fireman's Park is right directly next. I'll stop there in a minute here. I just want to point out that the library is right across the street there. And then also a little further down is the fire department and the police station over there. In the background, if you can see, are the grain elevator silos. And we'll go out there because that's actually a big part of Beecher's history. I oh, just wanted to point out, listen, check it out in the background, is that you can hear what's neat about downtown Beecher is the uh, the bells, uh, it's a, it's a community center bells, I think. They go off on the hour and it's pretty neat. You don't get that a lot in the area. They also go off every half hour. Oh, they go off every half hour too. I, I did not know that. So yeah, so you can just hear them in the background chiming, which is pretty neat. It's got that, you know, small town feel to it. Oh, that must have been a half hour bell then. <laughs> All right, so now we're here at the Junior Beecher Junior High School. We're going to walk around the property so you can see what the high school property looks like. That's uh, right at the corner of uh, Church Road and Cardinal Creek Drive. All right, so now we're standing in front of Beecher High School. Uh, this is the only high school in for the school district. And so this was the high school I actually went to. Uh, it looks a little different. Uh, we'll just take a walk around so you can see we got Beecher Bobcats. That's their big bobcat there. Been huge blue since I was here. Uh, but the school when I graduated, it was uh, 99, I think it was. Yeah, 99. We had 66 kids in the school. It was they're in the class, not the school, the class. So it's grew, grown a bit since then. So we got uh, Beecher High School here. Kind of point out some other things. Behind this building is the gym. Uh, so it's the you know, sports class goes on. We've got a parking lot for the school, tenders. We've got tennis courts. So it was actually cool. So again, when I was in the school district, that building back there that we toured, that was the junior high and elementary school. Oh, it's fun in junior high. They actually let us role play roller hockey in these courts here. So they let us go unsupervised. It was great. The, uh, the gym teacher has had a rule that if you heard anything about anything bad going on, then they would just pull the plug on hockey. So everybody, you know, was on their best behavior. Or if any fights broke out, this word never traveled back. <laughs> so we got the tennis courts there. I hear that uh, pickleball is kind of the new rage. So maybe that's being played there now. I don't know. But that's the uh, baseball field. And Beecher is known for baseball. So it's a pretty big baseball school again this is the high school we'll walk around to the other corner here so we got that you know gym there um and behind here is the shop class i actually took a, one of my favorite classes in high school it was a mr muller we had it was one semester small engine repair one semester welding and it was really cool i learned a lot actually i've been fixing snow blowers ever since my welding skills are a little sus though the whole tig mig thing don't know the difference <laughs> All right, so this addition is new since I've been there. But that's uh, auditorium, and so I believe that it might be the oh main entrance is over there. Athletic entrance is here. So again, just phasing over there. We were that water tower. That's right where we were earlier by the train caboose. It's a little really close to it. Arms Park is right over there, and so baseball field here. And then we're almost on the back end of the high school. So we'll just take a tour to see that. And then just a block over is back to Highway 1. Now that's what we, that front, the earlier tour, that's what road that is. So we're going to the back of the school here. All right, now we'll head over to the, what is it, the junior high? Yeah. yeah, junior high is next. As well as in our video itinerary today, but drove by, I was like, hey, I should do a shout out to our church. So that's actually the church we go to. It's in Beecher here. It's uh, Faith Church Beecher. It's uh, 201 East, I think East Church Road. So anyway, we're usually here at 9, so if you want to come out, I'll meet you there. Okay, now we're right down the street from where we were. The trail, the trail tracks and the caboose and everything is right over there. And so I'm at Woodward and Penfield. I just want to tell a quick story that I thought was fun. I forgot about it till we were walking by. So the police station's right there. And back in the day, me and my buddies were skateboarders. So we were coming down this row, Woodward, skateboarding down to Penfield. And all of a sudden, uh, whoever, whatever cop was on duty that day was not too excited about that. So he corralled all of us into the police station and questioned us for a while. I don't remember what it was all about. 
it was really scary at the time. In hindsight, I realized it was no big deal. But yeah, just a fun story to tell from back in the day. All right, so now we're gonna go take a look at a handful of homes that are for sale so you can see what the different styles are. It's basically the different vintages of when the homes were built in various subdivisions. So in this video, we're not gonna get into very much about what subdivisions, where they're located, but check out these other videos that should be coming up to the screen now. It's everything you need to know about Beecher, Illinois. In that video, I have a deep dive into the different subdivisions of the town and there's a Google map that will show you the different locations and it will give a help out uh, with your understanding of where we were at today. All right, Wyatt and I are here at Kentucky Cove subdivision. So we're gonna do a quick drive around and you can see what the subdivision looks like. This is on the subdivision on the very north side of Beecher. I, I guess I'm pointing north, might not be for you depending on what orientation you are right now. Uh, so we're gonna go take a driving tour. Yeah, I wanted to point out at Kentucky Cove, they got a huge attention pond here. That'd be a nice place to you know, go fishing. We're also checking out Hunter's Chase subdivision. We'll do a quick drive through here. And if that's it in the background, we'll hop in the car and you can see uh, these generally larger style houses, uh, contemporary style of construction. Uh, we'll take a look. Yeah, so now we're gonna look at some homes that are for sale. So we got here, we're over here on Penfield Street. This house right behind me is a 900 square foot, two bed, one bath at $164,000. Uh, it brings it to about $182 per square foot. On the square foot side, that's a little higher because it's a ranch house. Uh, after this, we'll take a, a drive down the street so you can see what this looks like in this neighborhood. And this is one of the older sections of town. Uh, so when we get to the other side, the houses will be bigger, a little more contemporary. take a tour of this cul-de-sac so you can see what the other houses look like. next house right behind us right over here is on Miller Street in Beecher. Uh, again, this is kind of like on the medium age of the town. So we're to the east of Route 1. This is a three bed, two bath, 1,600 square foot ranch house, $275,000, which puts it at $171 per square foot. And we will, after this, we'll take a drive down the street so you can see what th this looks like. And then after this, we're gonna hit a street uh, house on Maple, which is in the newer section of town, and it's actually the most expensive house on the market right now in, in the town of Beecher. up on our tour of homes for sale in Beecher. We're on Maple Street, obviously in Beecher in Prairie Crossing subdivision. And this home is the most expensive home on the market in the town of Beecher right now. There's farmhouses that are more expensive that have more property. But for this guy, I got Maple Street, it's a four bed, two and a half bath, 3,100 square foot house uh, listed at 389,000. What's pushed the uh, square footage at about 125 per square foot which is actually uh, the best per square footage number we've seen on all the tours today. 
All right, we're gonna take a drive down the street and you can see what it, this uh, area looks like. And again, this is one of the newer subdivisions and kind of the nicer ones. So if you're got the you know a higher end budget for Beecher, I hope that this would be a great fit for you. Thanks for watching our video about everything related to Beecher. We hope you learned a lot. Uh, before you go, if you could hit that like, subscribe, and if you want to leave a comment, let us know something you learned, any questions you have. We respond to every one of our comments. We do these videos because we want to educate our buyers, sellers, and anybody interested in the area about what it's like to live in the Chicago area in Northwest Indiana. If you have any questions, please reach out, call, text, email, book a Zoom call right on our schedule, and we'd love to help you out with that. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.